Hello students, today I am going to give a video lecture on a topic called as IPv6 packet format. Also we are going to talk about the comparison between IPv4 and IPv6. Please try to understand the limitation of IPv4. IPv4 was having a length of 32 bit and the over demanding need of IP address need to be satisfied and to satisfy that need ipv6 was evolved so today we'll try to understand the packet format of ipv6 as well as we'll do the comparison of ipv4 and ipv6 an ipv6 address is of 128 bit binary value which can be displayed as 32 hexadecimal digits so one should remember ipv6 address length is of 128 bit wherein if you remember the length for ipv4 was 32 bits the colon isolate entries in a sequence of 16 bit hexadecimal field what does it mean so here this is a note this is a notation for ipv6 where ipv6 address is being denoted in the fashion of hexadecimal colon notation which is opposite of ipv4 wherein if you remember ipv4 address were noted by dotted decimal fashion while in case of ipv6 128 bit ipv6 address is being denoted with hexadecimal colon notation now one should understand this 128 bits are being divided into eight groups 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 all these eight groups are being separated by a colon and each group is made up of 16 bits and this 16 bit is being represented in the form of hexadecimal. So 16 into 8 turns out to be 128 bits. So I hope you understood how the IPv6 address are being denoted. It provides 3.4 into 10 raised to 38 IP address. This version of IP addressing is designed to fulfill the needs of exhausting IPs and providing sufficient address for future internet growth requirements. Uh, so basically here we can say about the IoT requirement. You know very well the IoT stands for Internet of Things. Later on each device around you will communicate with each other or we can say each device around you would be connected to internet so whenever a device is being connected to an internet ip address is essential and to satisfy the over increasing need of ip address would be solved by ipv6 as ipv4 uses two level address structure where the use of address space is insufficient that was the reason for proposing the IPv6 to overcome the deficiency of IPv4. The format and the length of the IP addresses were changed along with the packet format and protocols were also modified. So today we will try to understand the IPv4 packet format. So we know very well IPv6 data graph or a packet format comprises of header and data or we can say payload but over here one should understand here the header is set to be base header if you try to recall ipv4 header in that case the header size was minimum 20 bytes and maximum 60 bytes but in case of IPv6 packet format, the header is fixed and the size is 
40 bytes. Each packet is consist of a mandatory base header succeeded by a payload. The payload includes two parts namely the optional extension header and data from an upper layer. The base header consumes 40 bytes. Inversely, the extension header and data from the top layer usually holds up to 65535 bytes of information. Now we'll try to understand the IPv6 packet format. Talking from the first field version, which is 4-bit field, which will define that the packet belongs to IPv6. So in this 4-bit field, the value would be inserted as 0, 1, 1, 0, which is equivalent to 6. Next field is priority, which is of 4-bit. It defines the priority of the packet concerning the traffic congestion. If all the 4 bits are 0, which will denote the packet will have low priority. If all the bits are 1, it will decide the packet is having high priority. The next field is flow label, which is of 24 bits. The reason for designing this protocol is to facilitate with special controlling for a certain flow of a data which is achieved with a field called as flow label of 24 bits. Next is a payload length. It is the field which defines the total length of the IP packet excepting the based header. Next field is next header which is of 8 bits. It is an 8-bit field which describes the header that trails the base header in the packet. The next header is one of the optional extension header which IP uses or the header for an upper layer protocol such as UDP or TCP. So basically the next header will decide whether the extension header would be present or extension header would be absent. So basically the extension header is same as an option which was there in case of IPv4. Next is hop limit which is of 8-bit field. Here hop limit is similar to time to leave as of IPv4 packet which indicates how long a packet would be alive in the network. This is 8-bit hop limit field assist with the same as the function of time to leave field in IPv4. So here in hop limit, it indicates how many hops a packet would go through the router. Let's say if the hop limit is of 10, which means after 10 hops, a packet would be discarded from the network. Next is source address. As we know very well, IPv6 address is of 128 bits equivalent to 16 byte internet address which identifies the source of the packet or a datagram. Next is the destination address. This is 16 byte internet address that generally describes the final destination of the packet. So with this, we have discussed the IPv4, IPv6 packet format. Now we'll try to understand the comparison of two important protocols, which are IPv4 and IPv6. The first point to be discussed over here is address configuration. In IPv4, it can be manually or through DHCP configuration, where DHCP stands for dynamic host configuration protocol. Here the ad address configuration can be auto or through renumbering. Next point over here is 
end to end connection integrity where integrity means that there won't be no change in the data while traveling from source to destination in case of ipv4 there are chances that the integrity may be lost that's the reason it is unachievable while in ipv6 it is achievable which means the integrity of the data is maintained address space we know very well it can be 2 raised to 32 and over here 2 raised to 128 so it will provide large number of ip addresses talking about security security is dependent on the application here ipv6 provides inbuilt security with the help of ipsec which means ip security the length of the address we know very well it is of 32 bits which comprises of 4 bytes here 128 bits which comprises of 16 bytes next point is denotion in ipv4 the ip address is denoted in dotted decimal fashion while in ipv6 the address is being denoted in hexadecimal colon fashion next the fragmentation perform the fragmentation as we know very well breaking down of the packets into small parts so that it satisfies the mtu of the physical network where mtu stands for maximum transmission unit so here in ipv4 the fragmentation is done at the sender and forwarding routers while in ipv6 the fragmentation is done at the sender side packet flow identification here it's not available and it is available with the help of flow label field in the packet checksum field available it is not available message transmission scheme here ipv4 supports broadcasting where broadcasting means one to all while ipv6 supports multicasting and any casting multicasting means one to many or a group and any casting means one to a specific group encryption and authentication not provided so here if we talk about ipv4 security is low while in case of ipv6 the encryption of the data as well as the authentication of the data is being provided so with this we have discussed a very very important topic of ipv6 packet format and the comparison of ipv4 and ipv6 so here one should remember ipv6 packet format comprises of base header where the size is fixed of 40 bytes and the payload or a data is made up of two parts which are extension header which is same as the option field of ipv4 and the data which is coming from the upper layer towards the network layer and finally we have discussed the comparison of ipv4 protocol and ipv6 protocol from this comparison we understood that ipv6 protocol is superior as compared to ipv4 protocol so with this i am ending my video lecture thank you